Hey you, welcome back to my channel. And today it will be a quick video. I'm just going to talk about the time that I got stuck by a used needle. I know, it was crazy, it was insane. But um, I'm just gonna share with you guys that story. And before I get into the story, I just wanna let you guys know that my name is Lali. And in this channel, I make videos about nursing, obviously. I make videos about lifestyle and I also do product reviews. So, so if any of that interests you, you are more than welcome to subscribe to this channel. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so the time that I got stuck by a used needle. It's crazy because like, you always think that will never happen to you until it does happens to you. I've always, when I was learning about like getting stuck by used needles and things like that, I was like, oh, I'm very careful. That will never ever happen to me. I guess I was wrong. It did happen to me. Um, I was working at an urgent care and at this particular urgent care, there there's this thing that we used to do it's pretty cool. We used to draw up a lot, like, I think it was like 10 tubes of um, blood for patients that had issues with like sight issues. It was a specific thing that they had. I'm not sure exactly what it was. I can't remember the name of it right now, but um, they would use the plasma from the blood after we spun all the tubes, they would use the plasma from the blood to create eye drops interesting right and it would help with the with um their vision so the patient that i had that day it was one of those patients so i was getting ready for him and we're you know i'm talking to this man and we're just you know i'm, I'm getting prepared to draw up his blood then I put my gloves on and I have all my equipment right next to him so it could be reachable. And once I go to find um, his vein, I did find one in this particular patient. He was um, an older guy, he was pretty old. I'm not sure how old he was, but he was pretty old. So his skin was very fragile and like thin. And um, I was able to see his veins and feel them but once i went in there I, the vein must have um rolled to the side i'm not sure exactly what happened that i did not hit the vein and i'm like fishing a little bit i'm one of those people that do not like to go fishing too much because i hate it when they do that to me i hate it so much when they start like looking for the vein and just like it just freak, freaks me out and it just hurts and bothers me so i don't want to do that to other people and this man he was so sweet and nice and he was older so i was like i tried a little bit and i couldn't find it i was like okay so i'm gonna have to remove it and then i'll go in maybe in your other arm and then he was like oh it's okay that's fine when i removed it i'm not sure what i did i literally it was a butterfly um, needle and then I literally kind of like removed it and it turned all I know is like in in seconds it hit my thumb and I felt it but I was like I kind of like I felt like the pinch and then I kind of looked at my thumb and I had my gloves on and I didn't see anything so I was like oh, maybe it didn't happen like I kind of felt it but then I'm like nah, maybe it was just nothing so I you know I start like getting everything like off him and then I noticed the blood and I'm like, oh my gosh, did I just, did this just happen? And I'm trying to be calm in the room and I'm like talking to him. I was like, oh, I think I, I prick myself with the needle. I get everything, you know, put everything away, throw whatever I need to throw in the sharps container. And um, I'm very calm and nice. I was like, all right, I might have to get one of the other nurses um, to, finish the job like she'll be able to find your vein and get your blood drawn and you'll be okay and he's like oh, okay that's fine uh, don't worry about it and i leave the room once I, <laughs> once i'm outside of that room guys i completely lost it i'm like ah! i'm running away running all over the place holding my thumb and i'm telling the girls i i i stuck myself with the used needle and i kept saying i stuck myself with a needle 
And then they're like, oh, it's okay. I was like, no, it was a used one. It was the used needle. And then they're like freaking out with me. And then I go over to the sink and I'm, I keep like pressing on it and trying to get everything that I can out. And um, yeah, I was just freaking out. The guy was really, really nice. And he was nice enough to let us do an extra tube to check for his blood for anything just in case um obviously there's a process when you do get stuck with a used needle um that you have to obviously draw up your blood too to check your blood and make sure you're fine and it checks for all these um hivs um hepatitis and all these good stuff and um i did that as well but he did give us an extra tube so we were able to check and we asked him, you know, if it was okay for, for us to check for that. And he was, it's fine. So we checked his blood and his, you know, everything came out fine. He was okay. So I, you're supposed to, after you draw up your blood that day, you're supposed to go back in six months and draw it up, do another blood work again. So I didn't do that second one because we did his and he was fine. So I just, I decided not to do the second one. I could have if I wanted to. But um, since we know he was clean, I know I will, you know, I was, I was clean. But it was scary. It was one of the most like annoying time of my life because I was more like upset. Like, how did I let that happen? Like, I'm usually very careful and I'm usually like, I'm super careful when it comes to needles. I don't know if it was because I was talking to him and like that it happened. And it wasn't my first time. Like I had done that many like times before so i was like why but i just want to let you guys know that this could happen to anyone if this ever happens to you don't feel like oh my gosh why why this happened to me i'm so stupid or whatever i mean i i, I did felt like that but but if you feel like that then you can watch this video and you could be like oh wait this happened to this girl and it can happen to anyone so i don't feel that stupid <laughs> so guys if, if this happened to you, share your story. Let me know in the comments. Let me know how it happened. Where did it happen? You a little bit like advanced in your career. I would like to know um, if you feel comfortable sharing that with us. And um, if you do like this video, give me some thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. What are you waiting for? I make lots of content about nursing and I'll keep sharing my stories with you guys and you can just hop along in my nursing career and um, a little bit of my lifestyle as well yeah that was the time that I got stuck by a used needle well, thanks for watching guys see you next time <laughs>